Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this cookies, I'm going to be using 56 grams of unsalted butter. And I have this at room temperature. 230 grams of dark chocolate chips. Feel free to work with semi-sweet. It's pretty much up to you. And a bit more for decoration. 2 eggs. Half a cup of brown sugar. I would stick to this sugar because I've done this recipe with standard sugar. And it's not the same as far as texture and flavor goes. 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. 80 grams of chopped nuts. This kind of like depends if you you really like nuts or not. If you don't love them, you have less of this. Or if you have an allergy to uh, nuts, don't use them at all. One and one and a half cups of flour, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I have the written recipe on my blog. Feel free to check it out and print it. First, I'm going to be placing my butter in my chocolate in a bowl and then just melt it. You can either microwave it or just double boil it and then let it cool. So I'm going to be mixing my two eggs and my sugar first just until they look lighter and fluffier. I was probably there for about five minutes. Then I'm going to be adding my vanilla extract, my nuts and my chocolate mixture, the one that I uh, let cool. And I'm going to be mixing this. This time not so much as five minutes though. This time until everything is combined. Then on a separate bowl, I'm going to be adding my dry ingredients and that's my flour, my salt and baking powder and I'm going to be mixing this just so that everything is mixed and we don't get one spot with a lot of salt in it. Then I'm going to be adding this and I'm going to sift it just because I want my dry ingredients to mix correctly and I'm going to be again mixing this for about one minute maybe two, scraping down the sides so everything gets mixed. Once this is done, I'm going to be taking some clean pack or just a clean film and I'm going to wrap it and let it cool because to uh, make the cookies, you need this cookie dough to be more stable and I'm going to be making some smaller bowls. I don't know the size of them in like teaspoons or tablespoons. I just know that each of these ones is 10 grams. I just measured it by how much they weigh. But yeah, just smaller spheres and just try to make them all look even just so that they are done at the same time. I'm going to be baking them for 325 Fahrenheit, that's 165 Celsius, I guess, I think. So my cookies are done and baked now. So this recipe is for chocolate crinkle cookies. You add your powdered sugar before you bake it and then you bake it and then it cracks like the powdered sugar in it. They look really cute. But since I'm going to be turning them into little ghosts, I need the whole thing to be white and I'm going to be covering them with my powdered sugar after I bake them. Just sifting this on top and then I'm going to be adding my chocolate chips, three of them per cookie. Yeah, turning them into little ghosts. And maybe another option is to just use like the mini uh, chocolate chips for the eyes and then just the bigger for the mouth if you prefer. I think that will look cute as well. Hopefully they look like little ghosts and not like little guys wearing like the like Halloween oxygen masks but I really like them anyways and yeah the recipe itself like this cookies tastes amazing I just want to say happy Halloween to you have a safe one and enjoy it if you go for these cookies hopefully you like them as much as I did if so give this video a thumbs up let me know down below and share this subscribe for more stuff that I have on my channel thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later happy Halloween and take care bye